What's going on Drive 615, Byron here. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Welcome to today's review. As the title suggests, we're going to be reviewing the 2018 Mercedes-Benz GLS 63, compliments of Mercedes-Benz of Nashville. Located right there off Baker's Bridge in Franklin, Tennessee. Thanks for them for lending me this car so I can bring you an in-depth and exciting review. As you can see here, it's a polar white color on this GLS 63 with a 22 inch AMG multi-spoke wheels. Starting right off with these, this is a $1,750 option, but as I've mentioned in other reviews, it's an option well worth the money, as I think it gives them a very aggressive and stanced look. And in contrast to the polar white exterior color, I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. As you can see here, if we take a look, these particular wheels have the brushed metal ring around the rim and the silver dark silver painted brake calipers with the white AMG lettering this particular model AMG has the AMG night styling package which includes lots of black inserts in the beginning right here we have the black a wing and the front apron insert we work our way back the side view mirrors on the passenger and driver side are both wrapped in black as well as the outline of the windows here i think that's a very clean look uh, normally they come with chrome but this really ties it in nicely we also have the black roof wet rails on both sides and if we take a look back here not only is the diffuser in black we also have the amg black chrome exhaust tips two on both sides with the AMG badging on each of the four exhausts. All right, so these 22 inch AMG multi-spoke reels are wrapped in Pirelli P0s, 285, in the front and the rear take a look back here this car is equipped for the tow hitch you simply pop this plastic piece out you can insert your tow hitch right here this car is pretty sweet not only is it luxurious again you're getting the amg performance which let's go ahead and pop the hood and let's see what we're working with right there. All right, so we're dealing again with a handcrafted 5.5 liter bi-turbo V8 engine producing 570 horsepower and 560 pound-foot of torque. So this car will seat seven people comfortably, but we're gonna go ahead and test out the seats, show you exactly how they work. Look here in the second row of the rear seat behind the driver's side you press this button here it will move the front seats forward fold down these and completely fold them up giving you full access to your back seats if you look down here behind the seat belt you can hold this button down that will fold and lower this seat and if you do the same here with the left seat we do the same over here this would be great if you're trying to transport something large or you needed to move something that'd be excellent to have this extra space we'll go ahead and open up the back and see what it looks like from there automatic open let me take a look in here we have this sunshade that will deploy here to cover up anything that's hiding in this back compartment now we can also 
raise the seats back up by simply pulling there will raise the seat back to its normal position as well as pulling here will raise the seat back up to its normal position. We have our first aid kit back here as well as our 12 volt plug in case you need to charge something or pump up a tire. Also if you look here you can push this all the way in and it will rotate 180 degrees out. This would be great to hook on some kind of dry cleaning or anything that you don't want sliding around here in the rear of the car. Take a look at the rear seat controls back here. You get heated seats for the rear. You can control your air conditioning as well as the temperature. As with most cars these days, this has the automatic trunk close or the soft close for the boot. Simply press that and the back hatch will close. Take a look here on the passenger side rear seat. It's going to be the same setup. You can do the exact same thing with the seats here where you press this button and it will fold and flip up, giving you plenty of room if you wanted to put something large back here. Or again, fold those seats down. You can fit quite a bit in this car. It's a large car and it feels very large and very safe and secure when you're driving it. Despite how powerful it is, it feels very grounded and very uh, almost like a bus is the best way to describe it. All right guys, so I'm gonna test out this heated and cooled cup holder. I've got some bottles of water with me, so we're gonna test out the cooled function of it. We're gonna give it 10 minutes on the clock. I'll go ahead and place these in here. The left one is quite a bit larger than the right one, but it still fits a 16 ounce bottle of water nonetheless. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. One click gives us cooled, the other click gives us heated. I'm gonna start this 10 minute timer and just in 10 minutes we'll see just how cooled these bottles of water are. In the meantime, if you're ever at Mercedes Benz of Nashville, Alice is the girl for you for a new car sale. So check her out when you get the chance. 615-742-8000, just ask for Alice and she'll get you going. We'll take a look around the rest of this car. Press this button right here to the left of the hazard. That sets you up in the view of how much turn radius you've got. As you can see here, we got a 43 turn radius to the right. And I'm safe to say 43 turn radius to the left, I'm guessing. We'll about to find out. Yeah, 43. Uh, it shows the G-force or where the most energy of the car is coming, as well as the front and rear suspension. Take a look here, we got a, again, one of my favorite features of this car as well as in the GLA 45 AMG is how this sunroof cinches in to this middle bar here. And then rear deploys again and the front deploys just the way that they came in. All right, so if you look here, that's the heated steering wheel function on this little knob right here. You crank it forward to turn it on. And it's crazy. I know it might be like placebo effect, but almost instantly I can feel the heat mainly from this upper portion, the perforation above this volume adjustment here, and then same on the left side. And this is uh, obviously not the time for this. It's 78 degrees summer, but if this were winter and I'd just been out in the snow or the cold and my hands were freezing, that's an incredible feature to really warm you up because particularly me being super tall, it seems like my hands and my feet don't get very good circulation, so my toes are always cold and my fingertips are always cold. So for me personally, this would be an awesome feature to, to you know, be able to crank up the car and get some heat flowing straight to your hands pretty instantaneously. Like I said, I'm about a minute in and I can feel the heat already. We're going strong on the cup holder here. Let's see how we're doing. We're about five minutes in. Gonna pull those out in five minutes and see how they work. And then we'll also crank it back over to heat and see how quickly those heat up. All right, so the timer's up. We have surpassed 10 minutes now, and we're gonna take a feel and see just how cold these waters are. I mean, they're not they're not ice cold, but I mean, they are definitely, just, they definitely are, are colder, they're chilled. But now we're gonna go ahead and convert it over real fast. We're gonna press start, switch it over, and now it's gonna heat. I guess this would be good if you have coffee or hot chocolate or some kind of hot tea, hot beverage, this would be good to see 
uh, maybe in the winter in addition to the heat of steering wheel now it's gotten very hot wow you can definitely feel it now all right so our 10 minute timer is up now we're going to take a look and see how hot the bottles are mm, not super warm but they're kind of back to where they were they were room temp then they went to chilled and now they're kind of back to to room temp so just an interesting feature it'd be better if you had like a hot mug or a thermostat or something like that but something very unique for a uh for a car so all in all my final thoughts of this 2018 vls 63 -er. it's a pretty brutal car it's awesome it's good if you got kids or you got a family or you need to haul things around if you got a dog if you're doing any yard work or anything like that it's got plenty of space it's also plenty luxurious plenty loud and fast if you want it to be yet also tame and quiet you know if you're driving around the neighborhood or going on a long road trip or something this would be the perfect travel vehicle again if you're going on maybe a family vacation to the beach or something load up the kids load up everything in the back it's also a pretty sleek uh, grocery getter i guess you could say but all in all awesome car pleasure to drive thanks again stay tuned and we'll see you guys around